Hello everybody and welcome back to Lawrence playing Factorio Angel Bobs. It's been once again a little while since I've played this so um, I'm having a quick run around to try and refresh my memory over what I did. So I believe, oh yes, so I got the, um, what's this, what's this blue stuff, this is zinc, and did it turn out to be zinc in the end? Yes, I got this zinc up and being built from the, um, from the incoming uh, Jeeva light and then as far as I remember that turned out to be a complete and utter waste of time because it wasn't actually zinc that I needed for the inserters I was desperately trying to build. It was actually um, it was actually bronze, which comes from tin, copper and tin. So I probably could have made that anyway, except that I don't have the uh, the metals in the right forms. So that's a bit of a shame, um, and I felt rather silly. So unfortunately, so I've got the um, no, I've got tin plates and copper plates. But I, however, that means I've got the um, the copper ore coming out here, and I've got the um, and somewhere up here, I've got tin tin ore so that presumably means I can take those and turn them into ingots without without too much difficulty it might be worth just finding another bobmonium patch to be honest for that one so that's going to be another step down here below all of this stuff so uh, another facility being built down here that's probably going to be relatively similar to this one but sorting bobmonium um, I wonder if I can get copper out of copper ore out of bobmonium let's find out oh come on um, no, bobmonium appears to turn into uh, tin and silicon. So tin can be turned into t tin ore can be turned into tin ingots or tin plates. Fair, that's about as I expected. Um, and oh, oops, copper, ing copper ingots presumably come from copper ore as well. Yes. Okay, so I need to get hold of copper ore and tin ore, which come from bobmonium. And copper ore comes from <laughs> everywhere. Jeevalite mostly, uh, or stereotype and crotinium, or sapphirite. Okay, so <clears throat> there's... Oh, if I can produce it from sapphirite... <clears throat> if I can turn crushed sapphirite into iron ore and copper, copper ore, I've got some of that up here, so I could run... I could do what I've done here with this, um, sort of branch out a little bit off the bottom of here, and then start making some, um, some, some, uh, copper ore and, uh, Start making copper ore and iron ore down here, uh, off one of these streams. That could work quite well, because at least then I've got all the all the resources coming in, and that's reasonably nearby. I suppose I could put ingots on the belt, who, uh, on the on the main bus. That'd be fine, I'm sure. That's worth a try. The other thing I wanted to do, I reckoned I was getting close to being able to make stack inserters. What was that again? Or the f that's, that's fast inserters and bronze. So if I get bronze, then I can make the uh, fast stack inserters. Ultimate Turbo Express is... no, that's, that's more complicated as well. Okay, so once I get my bronze up and running, which is going to be <laughs> interesting, then I can start thinking about the um, stack inserters as well. And once I get stack inserters, I can make my stations much, much quicker. And then hopefully I can start playing with LTN and branching out on different types of trains. Uh, sorry, using my trains for more, more efficiently. So, I'm going to do that. I want to get rid of all of this. Uh, for tree already. Oh, it's because I'm holding massive quantities of lead. Probably from when I demolished one of the uh, lead processing facilities up here. So let's see if it'll let me get rid of some of the lead into these um, into these furnaces. No, no. Of course, I do have copper ore being created here as well. Is that any use? I'm not sure. Yes, actually, I could turn this into um, copper ingots instead of copper plates. Right. Okay. How do I do that? That's the first question. Copper ingots made from copper ore in a blast furnace. Is that a blast furnace? That's a blast furnace. Of course, it's bigger than the other things I had, but never mind. Right, I want you to make copper ingots. I'm going to need another warehouse for all this um, zinc, zinc, whatever, blue stuff. Right, okay, that's <clears throat> that's stepped up the um, how fast the zinc is going to be pulled through now. So that should make it um, that should keep this being pulled through, and therefore I should get some more copper ore through very soon as well. I think I'm no. Let's just leave it as one blast furnace for now. There we go. So the um, the, t the tin ore is being pulled into the blast furnace now. That gets used up quite quickly. I'm impressed. <coughs> so sooner or later, I should get. Yes, here we go. Copper ingots being made. Excellent. I should probably try and unload these onto both sides, really. Okay. So that's the copper ingots. The other thing I needed was tin ingots, wasn't it? I, the question is, are tin do tin tin ingots have the same problem as um, the others that they can't be made from just from tin? I think the answer is probably. 
What's process tin made from? That's made from ore as well. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to need tin ore specifically in order to make tin, which is a bit of a shame, but I don't think there's anything I can do about that. So that means either bringing the tin ore down from here, where I do have quite a lot of it and it's going into these um, these smelting machines here. So I could, I mean, I could bring another belt of it down. I could, I could blast furnish it up here, I suppose, and then bring a belt down. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to be the most efficient way of doing this. I'm tempted. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll do it up at the top for now. At some point, that. In fact, actually, no. Thing to check there. How much this Bob Monium's left? Two hundred thousand. Um, I think the best bet is probably to build up another train station. Is there an easy patch of Bob Monium to get to? That's the next question. There's some up there. That's not too bad. If I extended this wall up, I'd only have to take out these three bases. There's some here, but that's man, this one that's quite big. Some here that's sort of accessible. I think going for this Bobmonium patch here is probably the best idea. Um, it's going to mean, as I say, building up from this wall down here, which is coming under fairly heavy attack constantly. Um, but never mind. Um, it, I suppose it depends a little bit on how, how difficult these bases are to deal with. But if I build the wall up to about about here, then I can set up a sort of defensive perimeter, and then hopefully just circle them, blast them with a gun, blast them with the car, and then run away again, um, back to behind my walls. And that seems to work fairly well. Okay, and it'll make a nice change from the last few episodes where I've just been scratching my head and trying to get things built. So I think it's about time I went off and did something a bit more, a bit more exploratory. So the first thing to do on that is check my inventory. I'm carrying an enormous quantity of rubbish and probably none of the weapons I need. So let's let's ditch some of the junk first. Where's that? There it is. So, let's see. I'm going to need railway eventually and a train stop. Don't think I'm going to need those. Right, so I definitely need more walls, more belts, more guns, and we'll see from there. Oh, I'm probably going to need a load of iron to make um, burner inserters as well, won't I? So, let's see. Drills, definitely need them. Guns, that's a lot of guns. Rails, I've got quite a lot of rails. Let's see if that's enough. Is that walls? No, that's walls for the... Um, for this for the new, uh, military science walls, there we go, and belts, belts, okay, that should do nicely, there we go, there's a way out, so I need to put in a splitter, and then unfortunately I'm going to have to lose these guns, stop that, so if the belt goes there, I'm going to have an inserter there, and guns there, and therefore walls there, <coughs> might as well pick up the uh, old spoils of war while I'm out here, oop, that one's not dead, <laughs> Okay, it is now. Okay, so sorry. Okay, so one of the things I've learned now is that now now we're getting the blue biters coming through. The um, old normal turrets are no longer powerful enough to um, to keep everything safe. So I think I'm probably going to have to start putting them in in pairs with one turret, with one normal turret, and one sniper turret every time I every so often. The good news is that the sniper turrets appear to be sufficiently powerful that they can take out the blue ones without too much difficulty. Right, so this is the this resource patch I probably won't use because it's kind of in the middle of where I'm going to run my walls. These cliff faces will either make things much easier or much harder. <laughs> oh cool. This is the one I'm probably going to harvest. Oh, this is a forest. Um I hope these guns have got enough gun. Ah <laughs> uh, no, I'm trapped. Oh that was too close for comfort. I got trapped against between the um between the cliff face and the biters, and yeah, nearly got taken out. Do I have any ice? Oh, I do have some proper ammunition. Let's put that in the car because I hope to be doing most of my shooting from inside the car because it's much, much safer. I think the um, car's machine gun actually does more damage as well. I think it gets a boost. Let's build it up this far to start with and then come back and finish it off. Otherwise, I'm going to find myself in the middle of the um, that biter nest with no, uh, no, no defenses to speak of. That's going to have to be yellow underground, I think. Yes. Oh, for goodness sake. I think those first turrets I placed are far enough away from the, um, from the biters that they're not going to actually engage them. So they shouldn't be calling down a wrath of plague of biters who will come down and eat everything in sight because I think they're I think they're far enough away and just at the moment my plan is to build this area up to be defended 
do this by on foot, it's going to be easier. Um, to build up an area that's defended, but not um, but not close enough to the uh, actual biter's nest up at the top that they'll get too interested in it. That's the hope, anyway. <coughs> this cliff's in a very unhelpful place. <sighs> Someday my cliff explosives will come. How am I doing? Okay, I'm getting quite close to that biter place. Uh, not going to be able to straddle that feed belt, am I? Oh, yes, I am. There we go. Uh, am I far enough away here? Yes, I think so. This is where I start being very, very cautious and trying not to get anything, too much attention too soon. Right, I think that's probably close enough. Now it's time to get the car out and start playing Scare the Biters. That one and that one. Oh, there's spitters as well. Oh well, never mind. There we go. That's that one dealt with. That was easier than I expected, actually. Now let's go and troll the next one. That one was tiny, that was easy too. This is going really well. I, mean, I, shouldn't, I know I shouldn't say things like that and I'm just getting cocky and the one up on the coast will probably now absolutely destroy me. But so far so good. Oh, pfft, he says immediately driving through the acid. Okay, this one's going to be harder because it's on the coast and they've got a worm. Let's see if I can um, at least get rid of all the guards first. Some of them. These are all... Oh no, 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 no. I um, think I'm doomed. Maybe not. <clears throat> I have lost yet another car though, and I'm now on foot and I'm going to have to walk all the way back down the, down to the base again. And I've lost all the... Oh no, there's some armor-piercing ammunition here. I did quite a lot of damage to that base. The question is, can I... Yeah, I probably can finish it off by dropping a, um, a sniper turret in nearby to deal with the worm and then filling it up with piercing ammunition. Let's give that a shot. I feel like I've done most of that base, so I might as well just finish it off. At least then I won't feel too bad about having lost a car in the process. Oh, no. Do put the ammo in it. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, let's start that again with one that's a bit out of range. Oh, I've lost the ammunition again. Bloody hell. Oh, talk about hubris. Right, let's try that again with a bit less fail this time. So what I'm going to do this time is put a turret down a decent distance away from the base so it'll attract the, the, um, the biters and spitters over and then where it can deal with them. In fact, let's put down a normal turret, a couple of normal turrets first. Like that. Then I can put down a sniper turret a bit nearer. It's working a bit better. Come on, take them out. Oh no, it's a big one coming. Okay, the big one's dead. No, that's not working. Hey, that's not good either. That armor piercing ammunition does pretty well though. <laughs> that might be the answer then. Alright, I'll pick up one of those and get its ammunition back. And then put that there, I guess, with the um, high powered ammunition in it and just keep repairing it. Hopefully that'll get an opportunity to take out the, um, the nests. Yes, that's one of them gone. And this turret can basically one-shot all of the biters and spitters, which is rather nice. There we go, and apparently the um, nests as well. Good. Well, that was a bit harder than I was expecting it to be. Um, but to be honest, it didn't go too badly. Apart from, you know, right at the start when I just charged in and got my car blown up. That was a difficult nest to deal with, actually, because of the way it went, because it was positioned by the, uh, by the coast. It meant that um, I couldn't just drive around it in circles like I normally would. And so I just ended up getting stuck and, yeah, I just didn't do very well, to be honest. But <laughs> but there's a reason why I didn't do very well. That's the point. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, that's the real, that's the threat of the trees dealt with. Now I can carry on this belt and run that all the way over to the sea. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's put in some turrets along here. Keep this area safe. I didn't bring any iron with me, did I? No. So I can't build any more, um, that was a bit of a mistake. I can't build any more uh, burner inserters. I could start using normal inserters, but then I'd have just to get fuel for them as well. Actually, let's put more in up here because they always attack the corners. So. Okay, I can't put it off any longer. I need to go back to the base and pick up some more, um, pick up another car. What's the best way back? It is just going to be to run, I think. Um, I could go off to the west over here and build a railway line, I suppose, over to this, this sort of area. Because I'm going to need... I'm going to need a tr trains from this Bobmonium patch and probably eventually from this natural gas patch and maybe that one too. So, yeah, having having trains going across here could be quite useful. Fine, I suppose I could do that. It's a bit rocky along here, but too many cliff faces. Okay, not to mention trees as well. Okay, let's start here. Yeah, that's a grenade forest. Ow. There we go. A nice neat way to cut through the forest. Is there a train up here? Yes, there is. Let's go and hitch a ride. Eh, full enough. Okay, so this is going reasonably well so far. Yeah, nothing. Should probably spend some time pulling up these mines as well, given they're not doing anything at all now. And this processing facility. 
Actually, I might just wait until I've got bots and can just zap the whole lot in one go. That'll be a bit easier. Right, this is my machine for making engines. Take those. Uh, oh yeah, I need need iron. Oh, and I've broken electricity to everywhere <laughs> because of all these poles I was pulling up, presumably. Um, right, okay, that's a terrible, terrible design. It shouldn't be that reliant on those power poles. There we go, that's <laughs> slightly better. Where was I? Oh yes, iron. And I need to make a car, for which I need steel, which I don't don't have that up here. Although it's not too far away. Uh, what was I saying? Car, and then I need gears to put back in the engine making machine. So that next time I get my car blown up, I'll still have some gears. I'll, I'll still have some engines to play with. Gears, 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 gears. There. All right, I don't need any of those anymore. Or those. Or that. Right, let's head back up there. Oh, I'm going to need electricity up there as well. What's the best place to get that from? Possibly here. Or if I'm going to build a railway line along here, I could just run it along the railway line. This is fairly traditional. Yeah, let's do that. The alternative, I suppose, is to run it up from here, along the edge of this wall. Eh, now the railway line will do. I might as well keep... I feel it, I feel it makes a certain amount of sense to keep my... Um, what's the word? Infrastructure, I guess. Keep my infrastructure all together. So, back up here... My somewhat abortive attempt at a railway line. Oh, so close. Thought there was a way to design through stuff like this. That clearly isn't it because that needs those cliffs to go. Uh, can I get through there? Yes, I can get through there. Okay. And then through this pre prepared gap. So this is the out line because I'm doing right hand drive for some reason. Uh, okay, there's a signal in the way. And. Oh, it's that pylon in the way. There we go. There we go. And then this one. And I've run out of signals. I've run out of stuff to make signals. Great. That was the last to do for now. I'll come back and finish that later. Don't let me forget. And then go around the bottom of here as well. Oh. Oh, for goodness sake. Till I cost him powers. And I've run out of rails. Well. <laughs> what? That was... Yep. I just... Uh. Okay, now I'm up here. I'm not going to put any radars in because, of course, I got rid of all of my electronic circuit boards like an idiot. Um, and that's why I couldn't build any signals as well. So I'm going to head back down, get some more rails, get those circuit boards. Oh no, let's actually let's finish doing these um, gun turrets first. Put the um, inserters on them because I don't really like leaving them up here undefended like this. There we go. Right, now I shall head back down again and get rid of the. Um, oh no, sorry, get some more rails. Probably get some more splitters and inserters and everything, and then basically try and pick up everything I'm going to need for a, for a mine. Although I suppose actually I could I could start planning the mine here, and that give me an uh, first, and that give me an idea of what I'm what I'm missing for it, so I can try and be a bit more um, complete when I come back up again, make sure I've got everything I need. So let's go this way around. There's all these rocks in the way. Who'd have thought that dealing with rocks would be a problem when you're going mining? It's just an extra, yeah, it's just something else to deal with. It's not so much of a problem. As ever, I look forward to getting bots because they will do all of this for me, but never mind. For now, it's it's not too difficult. There we go, that's that covered. Can't power it properly because I've run out of the um, big power poles in order to link everything up. But never mind. Can't bring, that's something else I'm going to need then, big power poles. I'm trying to remember that. But I can do all this sort of the stuff like... I can put all the little power poles out so that the miners are all covered and I know I've got to make sure I can make sure I've got enough of them. There we go. And a station as well. I could probably copy and paste one of those. This will do. I've just got one, two, three, four, five in. How many in you? Four. Not that it really matters. Oh, it does actually, because a four, a four to four split air balancer is much, much smaller and neater. Now these are all five. Okay. Uh, let's just copy this part of the station then. No, wait, there's no point. No, I don't want to copy that one. Let's copy this one. That. I apologise if this isn't the most entertaining episode. I feel like I am just actually slapping stuff together here, and yeah, there's not much to say about it, unfortunately. Uh, is that enough in there? Yes. Unfortunately, I don't think it's even all that. What I n would normally try and do here is uh, talk a bit about what I'm planning to put together as the um, the, n the next stages of this build, if, if you like, what I'm trying to do with it as, as it is. But I think I've gone over that fairly fairly thoroughly already. So the idea is I'm trying to um, get a supply of um, Bobmonium down to my uh, oops, main factory at the bottom in order to start building um, so that I can start um, actually producing that bronze that I've been trying to produce for about four episodes now 
and that that obviously as as um as I said requires me to get the, t the tin production up and running, but with tin ingots instead of the tin plates that I made earlier, because I didn't realise there's such an important distinction between the two. That went together surprisingly easily. Um, so yeah, I need to get my uh, get t the tin ore being produced down at the actually at the bottom of the base where the um where where everything where I can get the trains in there and I start unloading stuff. Because whilst I could do it up at the top, that would be a bit of a sort of a short term solution. Oh, I'm missing copper. Um, and car, car, there it is. Yeah, so it'd be a bit of a short-term solution to start um, building it up at the top of the base because whilst there is a bit of bobmonium there, as soon as that patch runs out, and it's not a very big patch, um, then I'd have to re replumb the whole thing again almost immediately to as a way through down here, um, in order to get the, in order to get it being pulled in by train at the bottom where there's a lot more space available. Now I know it's fairly standard to pull up big chunks of the factory and replace them every so often but I'm not really at a point where I'm ready for that yet so that means it's just time to do all of the construction much much lower down okay so let's get back those um, circuit boards I rather foolishly got rid of then I'm going to need some rail which is at the bottom oh that's gonna make let me make those signals I needed I'm probably gonna need more than that but I've got quite a lot of useful stuff now rails are there so I need some more of them and I need more big power poles and probably going to need more little power poles fairly soon as well and I'm running a bit low on grenades let's get some more of them there's a lot of trees up there so it's big power poles small power poles grenades are up there I think that was grenades no that wasn't grenades that was landfill <laughs> okay um are those grenades yes grenades why are you not making more grenades oh the iron feeds the wrong way around um what and this one's the wrong way right okay so here we need to put in a splitter. Splitter. Let's delete all this. Oh no, no, that would be better. Put that splitter in there. Like that. Can go there. That's like that. Is there anything? No. This is the very top of the iron usage. So, in fact, I could just that because it's the top. I can just do that. There we go. And that produces a massive sink for any exp any spare iron I ever get because it'll all just disappear straight into the ammunition factory, which is. I don't know actually, I don't know how to feel about this, because, let's pause that for a moment, because the theory is now, I'm supposed to be moving on to the um, the armour-piercing ammunition, because I've got bigger biters and I need something a bit more powerful. The problem is, it's being produced quite slowly, and I've just put a massive l where's that even going? That one's not full either, okay. Um, I was going to say, it's because it's all going over here, and it is, uh, I have no radar up there, um, but it hasn't filled up the belts after my previous expansion either. Um, what's holding that up? Is it just the sheer amount of resources required to make it? Okay, so I've got yellow coming out of my ears here. It's the copper coming in. Right, okay, I'm not producing enough copper from this little, this crappy little factory up here. You know, the obvious answer to that is bring copper in from over here, from this from this uh, warehouse, which has got 19,000 in it. Um, and that would mean I'd start pulling it out of here as well. Does that, is that a problem? I don't, uh, Okay, so this this is this is where Angel Bob's gets complicated because I'm trying to balance the outputs from these two. Maybe if I, hmm, because I want to make sure this is always all pulled out, but I also want to make sure this is always all pulled out, and I want to prioritise it going into all of this stuff. Um, that said, because I'm getting iron in up here, it doesn't matter if that backs up. So yeah, I think I should probably turn this round and start getting my copper from from here. That's interesting. Yeah, that's something to do at some point. At the moment, though, the biters seem to be relatively quiet, so I'm going to go and finish off that um, other bit I was working on before. Uh, have I got enough to build those radars I wanted as well now? Yes. Three radars might be enough. I need both types of circuit. Let's get some more circuit boards. I seem to need both types now. I've conveniently run out of them in perfect. Oh no. Well, reasonably close boss name. So that's here. Right, back up north again. This is the best way, I think. Is there room up along the wall? Let's find out. You are Mark II. Yes, you are. Oh yeah, there's this bit. <laughs> Some of these shiny new grenades can get me through there, I think. There we go. Now the big question is, if I whack in another radar here, is it going to have sufficient range? It is. Oh, that's good. Put that there. And then my new big power poles. Go there. 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 And there. And then I can nip up right up to the northern extreme and whack in another radar here because that's why I put those power poles in and that gives me a little bit more coverage how am I doing now is that that's pretty good actually there's a little area here I've not got covered in fact if I could drop one about 
here, mate. Maybe that will cover it. Let's have a look as we go over. Um, if not, I could always extend it down a little bit. Um, okay. Yeah, so now I just need to finish off that railway line. Put in another train. And I'll have um, potential bobmonium supply. Okay, granted, I need to... Oh, right, I need somewhere to unload it as well. But, you know, de minor details. There. And signals, of course. That's an out. That's an out. Yeah. These rails are the wrong way round. It hurts my brain. I should have put the station the other way up. Oh well, Celavi. Oh, and I needed a signal at the other end. Let's put in a bobmonium train there anyway, since I've got the parts for it. No, don't be called that. How do I make a nice, dirty orange? Yeah, about there. Looks a bit coppery, but it'll do. Right. Um. Over and over pair packs as well. Let's make some more of those. Oh yeah, I needed another signal at the other end of this line. And as I keep mentioning, I need to think about um properly signalling all the railways and putting in a lot more signals, but that's, I mean, much like putting in all of the, um, oh, I missed them all, uh, much like putting in all of the turrets, that's a bit of a mission and a bit of a pain, so I'm not going to, I'm just going to ignore that for now and pretend it, to, pretend it isn't needed. Oh yeah, that radar, okay, so I'll put it in up, put one in down here, and that'll cover that black spot, and then if I put another one up here, along here, it's a bit inefficient, but eh, radars are pretty cheap. There we go. Okay, that's my um, that's my Bobmonium uh, mine up and up and running. Where's under attack? Oh, okay, that's fine. Used to that. So we're short of copper here, are we? I think the answer to this is to turn this round, put in some more. In fact, if I just whack in another array of furnaces along here, do I not have any furnaces? Come on, there must be some in this box. How do I sort it? How I can't even, I can't find anything at all in this box. This is hopeless. Oh, there they are. There's some furnaces. Right. Okay, so I've put in some of these along here, like that. Um, and what I'll do is I'll get rid of this feeding into here. The unloader can stay there. That's fine. I don't mind about that. And it's a good way of using up this this up uh, this um whatever the hell it is copper fairly gradually. Those like that. This can come across here. And a splitter in here has an input priority of. Right, yes, there we go. So it'll pull from this side first. That's good. And along here we should have near side of belt inserters on those three. And far side of others. Okay, good. It's not a huge amount of iron I'm producing. Uh, a huge amount of copper I'm producing. But it will have... <laughs> there's only six, six running up here. That'll about double it. So it's a bit better. I don't know if it's enough. Alright, let's go a bit overkill for now. There we go. <laughs> Lots of copper. In fact, that might be enough to plumb in another one of these. Got that right? Yeah, no. <laughs> Forget that one then. Right. Uh, I stopped talking completely then. Um, okay, so now we've got a bit more copper coming in. I'm hoping... No, it's still only... Well, it's barely getting around to these ones, but never mind. Um, I could start replacing everything with yellow belts around here, but I think now having sort of multiplied the, the production of, of this ammunition by... I've, I don't even know how many times I've multiplied it by, but it's a lot better anyway. I think I'm just going to I'm going to call that good enough and leave it as it is. Okay, so that's that's uh, that was a um, a brief aside while I got distracted by some yak shaving. The next thing then is going to be down here somewhere on the other side of all this nonsense, where I'm going to start thinking about a um, bobmonium processing facility. I think I'm going to do that in the next episode, but for now let's have a look at what I actually need to make that bobmon to get that bobmonium to come through nicely. So. Uh, what am I doing? Tin, tin ingots comes from tin ore, which comes from crushed bobmonium, which also makes silicon. So this isn't going to be this isn't going to be too bad. I'm going to take in the bobmonium ore from the train. I'm going to make crushed bobmonium out of it. So it's just a row of crushers. Um, there we go. This is the one I want. Crush, yeah, crushed bobmonium in a sorting facility. So I need to crush it. I need to sort it. And that gets me tin ore and silicon ore. And then the tin ore I can blast furnace into tin ingots. And then those I can grab, and then those I can mix with the copper ingots I'm getting from somewhere else, I think. How are those getting on, by the way? Oh, I got distracted partway through and didn't build them. Oh, no, 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 here are, them. Here are my copper ingots. They're coming through quite nicely. In fact, that's stalled because I'm not using the iron up quickly enough. No, because I'm not using the... Oh, it is the copper. The copper is, is the uh, pot, pot part that's holding it back. Excellent. So, yeah, I've got my copper ingots coming down here. I'm going to have my... T tin ingots coming off the thing that system I build over here and then I can just mix them into bronze and then I can actually make that um, whatever it was I was wanting uh, the all the inserter types that I was trying I've been trying to make all this time so that's good um, so let's let's plot that out a little bit I probably won't actually start building it yet but I'll at least sort of 
sketch it. It's going to have a station in about here, like that, yeah, and then a sorting facility, so that's a load of these things. I haven't got any of those. Alright, let's not do the sketching for now. But it's going to come across here, and then over here somewhere I'll, um, maybe in this, no, probably not in this gap up here, I might because I might want to expand this bit later, because this, this is producing lots of everything, and I'm probably going to need all of this later. So, but yeah, somewhere around here. Okay, great. I feel like I feel like I've actually done something useful this episode, um, especially after the last one where I realised that everything I've been doing was completely for naught and was a complete and utter waste of time. Um, it's nice to got to get to a point where I'm I might actually be making some useful progress. So what have I done? I've abandoned this because because I didn't like it. I forget why now. Um, I'll have to check the recording for that. Um, I got this producing ingots instead of instead of plates. Built up this mine. Nearly died a few times. Um, yeah, okay. I think that's a good point to stop. As ever, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode where I'm going to build the other end of this Bobmonium train and then the sorting facility to deal with it all. See you then.